Welcome to the 2022 Mercedes-Benz PWA World Cup here in Silt, Germany. This is Elimination 1 final. Super light win, six to nine knots on the course. Everyone on their biggest gear, around nine square meter sails and on their biggest wings and their biggest foil boards. And here we go. Elimination 1 final is underway. Great start down the bottom end from Pierre Mortifon, furthest away from us. Also in this, we've got Matteo Yakino, Amado Vreesweik. We've got uh, Kurnum, Isaac, Kurdell, Kuzan and Rakowski. But Pierre Mortifon with the best start out of the lot. Going well in the middle. Oh, look at Alexander Kuzan. He's got a lovely bit of swell here and he's going to take over. He's overtaken Maciek Rakowski. He's having a go at Mateus Isaac. Oh, it doesn't get past Mateus in the middle. And he's actually got spat out the back. So Mateus Isaac looking good in second place at the moment. He's opted for quite a small wing from what I've heard. You know, we've got Rakowski's third place. But look at the guy out in front. Mortifon leading the way with quite a healthy lead. This is only the first leg, but it's all about keeping the foil and the board off the water as Pierre Mortifon goes around the first jive mark. Nice and clean from him. Second place, Mateus Isaac. Then we got Maciek Rakowski, Matteo Yakino, Kurnum, uh, Kuzan, Amado Vreesweik. But out in front, it's the Frenchman, Pierre Mortifon looking in fine form here. But Mateus Isaac is making a challenge challenge here. A few pumps on this reach. And Matthias Isaac's been doing a lot of IQ foil. He is catching the Frenchman, giving him a good run for his money here as Pierre goes over that bit of chop. And it is really close at the front of the fleet. This is the first elimination we have seen on the PWA in 2022. Super light wins, but the guys are making it happen. I mean, how is this? The sun is shining. Silt is looking good. And Pierre Mortifon out in front. Keeps it nice and clean on the jibe, but a really good jibe from Mateus Isaac. He's gone upwind, making a play for the upwind leg. We've got uh, Rikoski in third. Then we've got, it looks like, Yakino, followed by maybe Amado Vreesweik. Super close racing, super light wins. Can they hold it all the way to the end? This is the difference the foil has given us. It gives us the chance to put on a show in the light winds. And Pierre Mortifon is not the smallest guy in the fleet. He's probably one of the biggest. And he is leading the way, keeping it high and dry as he comes round the uh, penultimate jibe mark. Pierre Mortifon got a great lead here. A good jibe on the swell. Mateus Isaac from Brazil in second. Then we've got the Polish rider. Uh, we've got Rakowski. Then it's followed by... Uh, Yakino really close for the second place at the moment. But the Frenchman, Pierre Mortifon, looking oh so in control. Look at the lead he's got now. Absolutely flying. The guys are on their biggest star, probably nine meter sails and their bigger wings, which I'm hearing is in around the 657 range, depending on the size of the rider. Maybe a few gambling on smaller wings to get the speed, but then you're going to struggle in the jibes. That's how it goes. But one man who is not struggling the jibe, Pierre Mortifon, jibes around the last jibe mark. If he keeps it clean here, he should clinch the victory in the first elimination. Mateo Isaac, oh, he's had a man. He's touched down. He's opened the door. Maciek Rakowski is going through. The Polish rider moves up into second place. Mateusz Isaac has now got a fight with Mateo Yakino. Could he slip outside the top three? It does look like it. He's got Mateo Yakino from Italy. Is taken Mateusz Isaac. He was in second the whole way around. But just that one touchdown, that bit of pressure on the last mark has opened the door for Yakino to move up into third. Maciek Rakowski to go into second. Second, but there is only one winner. Pierre Mortifon wins the first elimination of 2022. Is this the way it's going to look? A great finish from uh, Rakowski in second place. Third place, good comeback and steady sailing from Matteo Yakino. And fourth place, you've got a feel for him. Matteo Isaac just lost a bit of concentration, caught a bit of swell on that last mark, and he drops from second to fourth. That is what we're going to see in this foiling discipline. A lot of people moaned about the light winds, but look at the guys on the top. It's still the same familiar names.
Elimination two final. We've got seven riders, already lost one. We've lost Enrico Marotti, the Croatian, to an over early. So Yakino, Curdle, Rakowski, Jazunas, Martini, So and Isaac coming up to the start. We've got six to nine knots of wind, super light. Uh, and Pierre Mortfon not making this elimination two final. So we will have a new event leader after this round. Here we go. It's close on the start, but it is a good start. Good starts down that bottom end. It looks like Maciek Rakowski. It looks like uh, Matteo Yukino. We've got Bruno Martini behind him, but making good ground up. Matthias Isaac looking good. We've got the point sevens up this top end with Johan So, the young Danish ripper. He is definitely one to watch for the future, making his first final here in uh, this Grand Slam event in Silt. Like I said, super light wins, but look at the boys at the front of the fleet. They are absolutely flying. It looks like Yakino leading the way at the moment, but Bruno Martini is absolutely flying down the bottom end, and he's going to have a nice line into this uh, first mark, although he's going to be pretty tight. Matt Cechrakowski sort of sailing up, playing the waves a little bit, just biding his time as they come into this first mark. And Bruno Martini on the inside, but he's made a mistake there. Bruno is in and Maciek goes in the inside. Matteo Iacchino actually loses out, but manages to avoid Bruno Martini. So he's still in the game, but it's the Polish rider. Maciek Rakowski leading. Matteo Iacchino in second. Looks like Kurdal in third. And then we've got uh, Matthias Isaac actually in fourth place. Johan So just behind them. Oh, a little touchdown down from Rakowski. You can't quite tell from this angle, but it's very swelly, choppy out there. Difficult seas. Like I say, they're on their biggest equipment. They're on their biggest wings, but they're having to go smaller wings to keep the speed, which means it's tricky in the jibe marks. But Rakowski goes around in first place, keeps it together. Mateo Yakino still in second, pushing the Polish rider very hard. Great jibe from Yakino. Kurdel. And then it looks like Mateus Isaac fighting it out for third place. But look at Mateo Yakino. He's got some speed on this port tack and he is absolutely hammering right now. And he is going to roll the Polish rider by the looks of it. Matcek trying to sail down, trying to hang on. But say Yakino is finding the swell and it looks like he's going to have the edge. Although, is he? Is he? Yes, he is. A little touchdown from Rick. Koski, Yakino back into the lead now. So Yakino round in first place, quite a wide jibe mark. Rakowski goes on the inside. Then we've got Kurdel, not such a well, okay, a pretty good jibe from Kurdel. He's got Matthias Isaac right behind him, but look at the battle at the top end. Look at Rakowski go on this starboard tack leg. He is absolutely flying, closing the gap. He is pushing everything into this. I don't think he's got enough room to go over the top, though. Matteo Yakino is coming back at him. But Murkowski is squeezing him down. And I take it back. He has absolutely squashed him right here. Sails straight down on top of him. He's going to have to come up before the mark. So Rakowski into the lead. Yakino right behind him. It's Maciek round in first place. Yakino needs to get back in here. He has been quicker on that port tack all week. In third place now, it looks like... Was that still Kudl or was that... Uh, yeah, uh, Isaac, we'll have to have a look at that in a second. It looked like maybe some positions had changed, but out in the lead, it's the Polish rider, Maciek Rakowski. Mateo Yakina behind him. It isn't all over yet. We've seen the devastating board speed of Mateo Yakino, but there is not long left to go. And I think it's going to be Maciek Rakowski that gets this wrapped up and gets the win in elimination two. What a great race from the Polish rider. Yakino, very solid from him in second. Second place. I think then we've got Matthias Isaac in uh, third place and Johan So, the beast from Denmark, in fourth.